about as perfect as it gets. Oh, it doesn't get any more fun than this here. The course is in perfect condition. The snow is soft. The, the weather is warm. It's like this is all you, this is what you dream of the night before one of these contests. This is the competitive version of a fresh pow day. <laughs> we have Jamie Nichols on course, the 19-year-old. He's currently sitting in 14th place, so he needs to get at least a 61. And what we've seen so far from the judges, at least one double cork, two big spins, and then a flawless top to bottom run. And Nichols, so far, little hand drag, but so far, decent run. Yeah, you know, no doubles in there, so it'll be interesting to see if the judges dock him for not doing that, but finishing off there with a the nice backside 270. So, good run. Fluffy power. And on course, Alexander Ostrang, another one that is low in the field right now, and 14. Kev, what does he have to do to make it in? He's got to do what those boys did. He's got to make these landings just throw them down perfectly. Let's see if he's got it. Oh, yeah, sent that deep. A little wiggle, but held it together. I don't think the judges will dock at all for that. There's a nice backside double. Yep, gets that one around, lands it perfect right there in the sweet spot, and finishes off with a nice frontside double. You can see a little sketchy there. Even though he doesn't fall, he doesn't make it look as easy as those other boys. Well, that's a great point you bring up because if you go trick for trick, especially on the jumps, that's the same one that we saw Mark McMorris do. How about Ulick Bodicher? He did not have, Ulick Bodicher, he did not have a good first run. In 10 points. So, this is pretty much like one and done. Can we make it happen? Here's the front board for him right there. Into the lip slide. Let's see what he's got here on the down payment. Ooh, there we go. Oh, just buttering around on that one. Not quite really able to hold it. So, on a day like this, ooh, with a contest like this. Throw a trick out there with the no tap. And I might as well just give up. We're coming in, and uh, he will have to wait until we bring it back to Aspen. Back to the top, Sage Katzenberg. Again, another one low in the field. Outside looking in, he wants to join the party. You know, he had the cover in 2012 of the best team shootout for Transworld. So he does photography, filming, and of course, competes. One run. Ooh, there we go. That was good. He competes, he films, takes photos. He's got it all. Sage is a very diverse rider. And you can see it's been working out for him. This is the jump he had trouble on in that first one. Oh, ho, ho, no trouble right there. Yes, I like that. There we go into this last rail section. Let's hold it together. Yes, there's the 270 right there. A smooth one. Sage likes that. I Waiting. We send it back to the top. Wow. Yarman Broughton. Again, outside looking in. See, it's almost like all these guys have what, is ta what it takes to get into the final to just if they can throw it down because they know they got to throw down something heavy. And Yarman's got it. So let's see if he can pull it together right here. And he just crushed it on that first rail. Yarman trying to make up points in the garden. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yep, I got this smooth, no big deal right there. Starting off with that first double into, oh, a big one, laying it down easy again. No issues with that one. There is the backside double. Wow, a solid, solid jump section right there. Let's see if we finish it off smooth. Ooh, 270, yep, in the face, no big deal. I got this. Now, I bet he was right there at the top, like, we locked an eight. I bet he does not know he just got bumped tonight. So, let's see if he can step it up. Without knowing, he's not in the finals. He get in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. 50-50 front, five out. That. We don't see that out of anybody else. And when you don't see things, that means that usually they are difficult. Now he's into the jump section. We have seen that similar jump from almost all the athletes. Let's see what he's got for us. Switching it down. Oh, oh, oh. Sending a huge cap 500 foot right there. 
into the backside double. Wow. And that was not done on purpose, hooking his edge, but able to regain. Oh! Some points. Oh, he knew he needed it, especially after that bobble on the deposit. We take it to the top. Rope baits and Tori. He was in there for a minute, but not any, anymore. He's been knocked out of every slope style. He has to be to the final. He's got one more chance. Come, come this through the cap 270, throwing that one down into ooh, the half cap right there. Wow, good rail section for him. Let's see what he's got up here. There is the backside. Ooh, backside 1260. No, backside 9. Two. Oh, there's the 1260. Yep, and I got that smooth right there. Oh, double backside. Ooh, thank you. I got this. Very bringing it. First 1260s we see today. Like these riders are all throwing very similar runs. So it comes down to that. But next up, Sali Samba coming out of Norway. He was in 2012. He was the Norwegian snowboarder of the year. So hey, no pressure, no pressure. Just represent your country. It's cool. You know he's sitting in six. Not a great place to be right now with these riders and how good everyone's throwing down. But you know, not a not an awful place, so he needs to step it up a little bit. He landed his first one. Let's see if he can throw down right here on the second. There's a nice double on that first down payment. Into the deposit. Oh, oh, yep. I got it. Making it look easy. Making it look smooth. I like this one. It's come together nice. Oh! Just not able to hold it. He was going for it. Just leaning a little too far on his toes. Little drum drummer action there. Little drum roll. He's all right. He's in six. He's gonna be nervous sitting down there at the bottom. Here. There's a lot of guys left. A lot of good riders left. Look at him smiling. It's like it's sunny out. I'm sitting first. This is easy. <laughs> About as easy as it gets for me. Uh, let's see how he handles these rails. Taking advantage. Stepping it up. I'd like to see that. Here we go, let's see what he's got down here. Oh, wow, that top section is the best I've seen. Yes, he's in the finals, in first right now. Here we go. Let's see if he steps it up on the, on the jump section. A switch, backside 1080 right there. Wow. Backside, so same run, but stepped it up the top section of the rails. Love that. Nose blunt there, holding it all the way through. Dude, that run was gnarly. Maybe you didn't worry about that, Kev, but I did. Four, two, <laughs> two tall. One. He's known as Seb Toots to most of us. Let's see if Seb Toots can throw it down. He's sitting in third right yeah, now, so he doesn't in. need a big one, but he's going to have fun with it. It's a gorgeous day and a perfect slope style course, so. And that backside lift to start it off was so smooth. We were talking about with Torstein, just about how confident these top riders look. Oh, he's going to have fun with it. Andy's going to throw it down right now. Does he want to stay in third, or is he going to try to pull something out here to take the top spot? Again, this kid just stomping like a boss. Oh, a little trouble on that one. He had it all going for him on the deposit and then kind of slipped down on that money booter. Yep, and as we've seen reflected from the judges, they want perfection. But will Chad mix it up? He's been known to throw 1260s. Let's see what he's got. Here we go, there's two Yep, get that one tight rail section coming in and come board switch up to set me out that was nice come in here with the the cap 1260 laying that down in to the front side of the court 10 oh ho ho barely touching the seat down and then there is the back side Let's see if we can finish it up hot right here. Here we go, Chaz. We need 
need this. And I was like, to ooh, hard play 270. That was good. Ooh, he's happy. Is it enough? What are you Man. feeling? Seppi is sitting in 16th right now with the 73. He went down on that first jump in his first round. So let's see if he can clean that up, get it together, put one down top to bottom. He was able to get bronze and Aspen. So as you said, that fall clearly did not help his score, but uh, start lacing it down. We just saw what Chaz Gudeman did, so remember that front. Let us know if you feel that this one is better, because that's exactly what the judges are doing right now. Front side nine up at the top. The middle section wasn't that mean, but it was smooth. Right, trick for trick. Here we go. Switch back side ten. Oh, nope. Not going to do it. That makes it easy for the judges. It was cool to see the, the switch back side ten. So we'll let... Still on the outside. Can he pull it off? One run to go. Part of the U.S. snowboard team. Scotty Lego is on there as well. And Willette definitely has the tricks. He won so in 2010. What does he need, Kev? He needs a lot here. He needs to throw down right now, and that's going to do it. Spin on, spin on, spin on, spin off these rails is what the judges are looking for. Look at him just twisting around up there. A similar line as Chaz Budamon, who is our current bubble boy. So smooth right there. Chaz is stressing on how this one is put together. Yes, yes, huge backside double. So nicely, so nicely landed. Oh, that was a smooth front side double. Let's see if you can finish it off right here. Yep, yep, front side 270 out into the front side, front side 270 out. Oh, oh. Well, our last and final rider, Mark McMorris. I like to call him the new. And he is not in first, so it comes down to does he want that top spot position? He, we always would see Sean White battle because it's so nice to have that last say. Uh, first time Horkma, though, had a banger with a 92, so Mark McMorris, pay attention. Can he make up some points on the rails? And can he add any rotations to his spin? If he can, that'll be exactly what he needs. Smooth cap 270 right there up on the top one. Into the cap board. Ooh, switching around the front. What's he got here? Yep, cap double. Ooh, yep, landed perfect. His game is so on point here. I just cannot get over how well he can do every single thing. Ooh, that was a little off. All right, will he mix it up? Oh! Oh! A little sketchy. Bud got it 1,200 hand drag, but he was able to hold it. The interesting thing the judges think about that is a double 10 landed perfectly better than a double 12 with a little hand touch. These guys are some of the best that are competing today. So the ones that are still not in need to make it happen. This is the, their final run. And paid to was able to get a nice full pull on his first run with an 85. He has already locked up the position. He needs to find So this is uh, kind of just for you at home. I'm in. This is a practice run, though. It's always good to get practice. When the contest is this heavy, you got to get every run you can, especially in a contest. You know he's going to push it. He's going to throw down big ones like that backside 10 right there. Oh, 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 Barrel right He's just making it up on the fly. <laughs> making up 1260s on the fly.